Hi there, my name is Katie and I'm with Solo Wood Flowers. We have a really fun tutorial for you today. We are going to take a sign that is a little bit plain. Um, it has a welcome to our wedding quote on it for decoration on your big day. We are going to use a little bit of flowers and filler and just spice it up a little bit and add a little bit of our solo magic to it. As you can see, it does have a little bit of a floral design to it already. We are just going to enhance that with our wood flowers and some filler. We have a variety of flowers and filler that we're going to be using today. We have some wood flowers that we've dyed, a couple of lighter colors, just some really pale colors, and as well as some raw flowers. And we are just going to add a little bit of glue to the backs of those flowers and stick them right down onto this wood sign. We're just gonna cover up all of that little floral design that was on there previously that was just done with the paint and adding a little bit of extra pizzazz and something special with these wood flowers. We are just following the same kind of arch shape that was previously there. You can use whatever types of flower and fillers, flowers and filler that you would like. We are kind of keeping this a little bit more neutral with some soft shades of dyed flowers and some raw flowers. But if you would like to add some bright colors or colors to match your wedding theme, whatever you're going for, that's what we like about this craft and crafting with solo wood flowers in general. Our flowers are so versatile and you can use any style of flower or any color of flower no matter what season it is. Now that we have all of our flowers added, we are ready for one of my favorite parts of solo wood flower crafting, and that is adding the filler. The filler is like putting the final touches on for me, and I just really enjoy doing it. We have a few different types of filler here. We are going to be using some preserved Japanese boxwood, as well as some preserved leather leaf filler, and then a few types of dried filler as well. You can use dried filler, preserved filler, or faux filler if you would like. Whatever matches what you're going for or matches the rest of the florals at your wedding day. We are just taking our little pieces of filler that we've cut down to a more manageable size and we are just adding a little bit of glue to the ends of those and just sticking them in between our flowers, kind of under some petals. We want to make sure that we hide that little bit of glue and so we're just kind of tucking them in between the flowers. This is such a fun craft because we are doing this for a wedding sign, but if you have a home decor sign at your house that you just want to um, add a little something to, you can definitely do that with any sign that you have at home. You can even make your own by taking a piece of, you know, just a wood board or a piece of wood and using a stencil and a quote and then adding flowers to it. Thank you. 
Now that we have all of our flowers and filler added and arranged how we would like them, this sign is ready to be displayed at a wedding to welcome your guests to your big day. Thank you for joining us today and we hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.